I'm Karen Garrison. I work for the Natural Resources Defense Council, and I work to protect our oceans. Behind us, we have the ocean that's in the Gulf of the Farallons Marine Sanctuary. And what you're not allowed to do in that area is drill for oil. You can fish commercially, you can fish recreationally. What the Marine Life Protection Act does is require a network of protected areas that protects the whole range of habitats and species along the coast of California. So the legislature's goal was really to create a program that would have more benefits for the whole ecosystem rather than protecting or trying to manage one species at a time. The ocean is like a source of renewal for me. This is one of the few places where you can really discover things anew. You know, I think about how many people are fascinated by other worlds and outer space, and I'm struck by the fact that we have another world that is as wondrous as you could possibly imagine right here on our own planet. You have to use your imagination about the oceans, but what we have on land is cliffs and waterfalls, and sometimes we have canyons and gullies, and that type topography is actually continued underwater. My, one of my favorite dives ever was in Monterey where I saw multiple colors of little fish. It's a rockfish nursery. Sea, little baby sea lions would somersault at you and come right to their nose meeting your nose, coming 60 miles an hour and stopping dead right there. And so you have this whole array of varied life under there in addition to this dramatic scenery. We've had parks and wilderness on land for decades. Point Reyes National Seashore is one great example of that. But we're playing catch up in the ocean. Less than 1% of our oceans has that kind of protection. And if we want to leave places of grandeur in the ocean to our children, places that are thriving with marine life, places that have healthy habitats, we need to create parks and wilderness in the sea. We need to create the Point Reyes of the sea, we need to create the Yosemites of the sea.